Hey, before I, I, I sit down, I just wanted to uh, mention um, kind of the, uh, uh, the, the, the big story of, of yesterday in terms of uh, Ruth uh, Ginsburg uh, passing away. And we certainly feel badly for her family and, uh, and friends and so forth. Uh, but, of course, what that does, it opens up uh, a seat on the Supreme Court bench. And, uh, and therefore, in Washington, D.C., already all hell has broken loose. So um, uh, I would agree with Senator Schumer, who said this is more important than the next presidential election. Because the person appointed to this seat, it's for life. And, uh, and uh, if... Um, if they pick somebody, uh, of course, in their 40s or whatever, which the, some of the folks they have in mind, that's about the age because they want them to be for a while. Then the, cur- the court would be, co- in terms of being constitutional, would be a 6-3. to three. And, uh, and Roe v. Wade would be overturned. And that's why they're going crazy. So if they can pick someone who's willing to go have every horrible thing you can imagine said about them, their children, and, and everything else, if they're willing to, to go through that, if you remember the Kavanaugh hearing, they're willing to go through that and be confirmed, then uh, it, will, it will save tens of thousands of babies' lives every year. And when they overturn it, it'll just say there's no longer a, uh, a federal mandate for this, They'll say it was a mistake <laughs> that this was somehow a constitutional right to be able to take the life of your, uh, of your infant, and it'll go back to the state. So in liberal states like ours, like Hawaii, California, Washington, Oregon, New Jersey, New York, some, other, some of the New England states, there'll still be abortion on demand because it'll, it'll render it back to the state and said this is, has nothing to do with the federal government. Uh, but in... Probably 35 states uh, and, uh, and maybe more, uh, they will overturn and do away with abortion. So that uh, it won't end it totally, uh, but it will save, save lots and lots, thousands uh, of babies' lives. And then maybe, maybe we won't incur the wrath of God upon our country because of the scourge that we've been, uh, been living uh, under. Pray for Senator McConnell, pray for President Trump, pray for those uh, other uh, brave uh, men and women in the Senate that will, uh, will vote for this. Their lives are being threatened. Uh, people, they're threatening to, uh, to, to burn the Capitol down. I mean, there, there's just some horrific remarks already being made uh, because this is a battle of good and truth versus evil. Uh, it's it's God and it's and it's Satan in terms of trying to protect the life of the unborn. So uh, anyway, uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers. So so we need to do that wrestling and that and that praying. I just I want to encourage you to uh, to uh, to do that. It's uh, it's a pivotal time uh, in the uh, in the history of our country right now. Amen. All right. Well, God bless you guys. <clears throat>